Happy Monday, folks. Welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Command the Hoops Celtic. First of all, I just want to say thanks very much for watching the live so far. Um, happy Monday to you. It's obviously a massive week ahead for Celtic. We have Toyin Castle on Wednesday night, which is going to be a tough trip without the captain, Callum McGregor. Could be a four to six weeks, they're saying. We, he has to go under undergo surgery with his cheekbone injury he suffered against Aloha. And then we have Dundee and Knight as well. We're going to be missing Tom Rogic. Dyson uh, made it as well. But the good news is we have Atate and we should have Idaguchi as well. And she'll give his press conference tomorrow to say who's fit, who's in contention as well. Hopefully James Forrest is in contention as well. But I said I'd do something different tonight. Um, I said I, I rooted, out, rooted out a couple of jerseys. This is about 13, 14 jerseys here. I'm at the root now of the archives. Get the comments in as well. So we got the obviously the original proper yellow jersey, and then we have the Bumblebee colors as well. So, um, yeah. Oh, I heard he went, he's he's already went under the knife. Well, we'll see what happens as Ange. Ange will confirm it. If this is your first time coming across the channel, please press that subscribe button. I am literally 100 away from hitting Mount Samaras, which is 9K Mount Samaras. So let's hit Mount Samaras and smash that subscribe button. Even hit that share button as well. Look at folks. It's hard growing, but let's kick it off. And um, what do you want to see for us? Do you want to see the yellow jerseys or do you want to see the Bumblebee jerseys? Well, the Illumis color with the black. So let me know. I'll, I'll give you two minutes to comment in there. But any other Celtic topics, bring it up as well. I'm going to try to get the podcast back on Saturday night. I'm, um, I'm, a, I'm busy this week with bits and bobs, so I don't think I'll be getting on during the week to do a podcast. The Bumblebee, oof, you're really putting me under pressure now, aren't you? <laughs> right. Um, I'm not going to do it from here. I just literally just took them out of the suitcase. So I'm going to start off the first one. This for, see, Adidas obviously haven't bring out a yellow jersey yet. They've obviously bring out the, the remake of Love Street in their fourth season and then the black jersey as well. Then this season, they bring out the white one, kind of like the remaster of the 1981, but I had pink pinstripes. And then we also bring out, <clears throat> geez, I'm forgetting now, the dark rain one as well, which is the iconic dark rain that we wore that season for Lisbon. And then we bring out the 40 year anniversary as well, Nike did the Carlin one. We obviously bring it out again for the 50 year anniversary with the gold in it, which was a nice jersey. I didn't, I actually didn't have that jersey. So if anyone wants to donate a jersey to me, go ahead, because I'm not paying over out my arse for a jersey, 30 to 40 quid for the jersey. So I'd rather just um, take the cheap option, you know, go me. You know, funds are short at the moment. So let's kick it off. This one is. Let's see now. Is it walking? Let me know if it's walking out. Is it walking out, folks? Is it walking out? 
this headset is an absolute disaster. Is it working now? If it's not working now, I shall go to another headset I have. I've another one in there. So, can you hear me? Should be able to hear me. Give us a, that's us now. Perfect. So we'll go back to this jersey. Sorry about that. So let's kick it all off again. An absolute technical error on my side. Roro knows all about that. Hello to Roro up in West Belfast. I didn't get to watch your podcast earlier or yesterday, Ro. I was up, I was up to me eyes. I was with stuff. But um, there we go. 15-16 tour jersey. Um, we wore that against Ajax away in the Europa League. Beaton and Lustig scored that far as I remember. We obviously wore um, bad memories in the playoff round against Malbo wearing it as well where we just messed it up but overall the quality in this jersey is poor I just thought it was actually poor like the only decent thing about the jersey was the way the designs was done with the stripes going down where it went pinner but this was New Balance forced jersey forced um round of kits had the Celtic obviously had the Celtic cross in the back of it kind of so yeah I remember we um, beat Hamilton away on a Friday night with it as well. It wasn't bad. But, um, yeah, like, New Balance fucked that one up, to be honest with you. Massively fucked that one up. But here's another New Balance one that we had. Um, do apologize if anyone's watching with their young kids and there's me swearing. But this one here, this one's a good one. This was the treble, treble season one. What wore it too many times? Tierney in the back of it. James Forrest scoring in um, Easter Road in it. The Bruni in our, the the iconic Bruni stoppage time winner as well at Rugby Road. Yeah, that was that was a good jersey. I have to say, I liked the design on that jersey. I thought it was pretty smart. It reminds you of Scott and Clare all the time. Yeah, that's the one. So that was pretty good. Wore it too many times. Too many. Too many times. <laughs> But um, yeah, there's the bumble, one of the bumblebee colors you could say. Next one is probably my favorite Celtic jersey of, of all time. Now, I have this in a European version, and I have it in a, a replica one as well over there. But the replica one is obviously destroyed because I wore it so many times. But this is the European one, the 2009 slash 11 bumblebee. There's the European at the back there. A friend of mine gave me this jersey back about four years ago. I've only wore it a couple of times. Has the iconic quote in it as well. Celtic jerseys are not fit for second best. They don't shrink to inferior your players. So, Edward, there you go. <laughs> that was that was the that was an iconic one. Good time, to- good times in this. Paddy McCourt scoring against St. Mirren. That um, solo goal was good. And um, we had Europa play wore it a few times in Europa League as well. I think we wore it against Rapid Vienna, and we wore it against Ham- Hamburg away as well. But Robbie Keane signed that season as well on loan in January. Scored 16 goals in his term, but he, his fourth goal was against Falkirk and it was in this jersey as well. So still couldn't kind of remember. It's all, it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. You hate that Bumblebee one? How come you hate it? How come you hate it? Just Nike. Don't think Nike done a decent job. How's it going, Michael? Still love the Bumblebee kit here, George Kidet. Eat me, my orange, and born the slaves. <laughs> oh, God. So, right, this is not the original one. I got this was just a remake. I got this remade since a company sent me this out off Instagram. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to go out and st- this jersey would go to if you go on them, um, you go on to eBay and look up the Bumblebee jersey, like the cheapest Bumblebee jersey you're going to get is like 97 quid, cheapest one. You're looking at starting off between 97 to 125 quid. People are selling it. So there you go. The 2000, oh, not 2000, Jesus, 1995 to 1997 Bumblebee. Now, obviously, when the year when Winnie Amson took over, it went to Umbro. But obviously, the George Cadetti, Paolo De Canio, Pierre Van Hoydonk, Simon Donnelly, you know, Stubbsy. <laughs> yeah, that, that jersey is a belter. An absolute belt of a jersey. The difference between the real one and the one I have is the tag, the tag there on the real one actually has it says large or whatever, but that one is an absolute belter. 
As I said, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fork out ninety quid on a football jersey. I know it's from the from the late nineties, but still, it was, this was a gift to me. No one's gonna know already, unless you know now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the one. That's the one. That's the one. But yeah, it's it's mad. It's mad. Like cl- cl- you go on to um, classics football shorts, and they they're charging mad mad prices for that bumblebee jersey. You know. That jersey, sad to say, was complete shy. Complete shy. Some people are against it. Some people like it. I thought it was a belt of a jersey. It really did. Obviously, it reminds me of Paolo De Canio scoring that goal up in Patodri as well, past the keeper. So, yeah. There you go. Button's nice on it as well. So, first time coming across the channel, subscribe. Something different. Right, we're going to move on to the yellow jerseys. I've loads of yellow jerseys. <laughs> loads of them. He's gonna see me first ever Celtic jersey as well, but I'm at it, you know. Um Lana, how are you getting on? Hated the bumblebee top. Nobody so it would always look like it was half washed. True. It always did look like it was half washed. <laughs> no question about it. I only got washed the other day and it looks like it's just, it hasn't been washed. <laughs> oh god. Love that top. Love that top. See, so, you know, hopefully Adidas can remaster it and bring remaster and bring a adidas version of it or adidas version of it so let's move on to this one let's see what player comes to mind when i show you this jersey i guarantee you is all going to say the same same person right this is from the 2018 19 season our last season the new balance before we went to adidas who comes to mind got this jersey in the celtic shop literally the end of that season who comes to mind any particular place comes to mind with this jersey now we did we did be hips in the semi-finals of the league cup i think it was 5-2 in hamden with this jersey and bruni scored two as well so yeah let's go through the comments only thing shitter than that jersey was the people's jersey i have that over there i don't have the home one though the cham the cham any reminds you in the cham i the charm, yeah, that's what it reminds you of. The charm, and we did. I don't even think we actually wore the um, <laughs> Rome the charm. <laughs> oh, it's, it's actually a really comfy jersey, nice top as well. I think, Rob, you wore it one, one night in your um podcast. Hope to get Rory back on this podcast soon as well. It'd be good to get him back, Rory. So, yeah, that's I have to say, I have to give that um, a good rating. I'll probably give that about an eight out of ten. Comfort in the air holes as well, it's real light and a wash as well. So, if you don't have that jersey, I'd recommend buy one. Big Olivier. Big Oliver. I call him Oliver Nitchum for the laugh. Oliver Nitchum. But yeah. Uh, Papa Francisco. That was a good jersey. Plus, we secured the league as well. In that, in the... So, the next one. I got this off a lot in Belfast. Yeah. So, let me see. I think this is the 1990 to 1992 CR Smith. So. They wore this against, I think they wore this against actually St. Pat's Alelic in the RDS. That one there, look at this one. Absolute belter. Wouldn't mind if they remastered this and bring this out. Absolute cracker. Come on, the boys from Dublin. Keep up the fate from Dublin, Ireland. Um, well, I'm from Dublin, Ireland myself. How's it going? Hope you're well. So there you go. Who's this remind you? Tony Cascarino. <laughs> The Maestro. Who does this jersey remind you of? I think it's an absolute cracker. I like the back of it as well. Beast, isn't it? Absolute beast. Vintage. Anything about this jersey is just like it's everything football stick to it. That's how you know it's vintage. Like some jerseys. You know? Anton Rong. Anton Rongan. The Cham. I don't know. People are just probably just it's probably just a type in error, like you know. That's why I do. That's why I'd, I'd rather do videos than actual putting posts up and writing big long paragraphs about how we feel. I'd rather just put it up on YouTube. So, what just rate this out of ten? Come on, put the ratings up. Out of ten, what's this jersey? What this jersey get out of ten? Absolute cracker. 
classic football shorts after this. The only difference between um, someone ripped the buttons off this one. There was buttons on this. What would you rate it out of 10? A four? A four? A four? That's oof. seven. Seven. Frank says a four. He rate this out of 10, folks. This jersey. You know, vintage Umbro. Umbro was a good manufacturer for Celtic jerseys over the years, obviously from the 80s onwards, early 80s. Some cracking. Was a great player. Paul McStay, the maestro. Oh, I've done a throwback video on the maestro. Um, it's i done it about two, two years ago when I set up the channel. So go through the channel and you'll see me talking about Paul McStay's career at Celtic and not really getting much caps for Scotland as well. But he should have been. Um, yeah. No one else writing this before we go any further. Any more ratings? C.R. Smith. C.R. Smith was a good good make, or not good, good sponsor, I thought, C.R. Smith. The only thing is... It's sponsored, you know, here as well. So that's the only thing. But this CR Smith is actually pretty holds well. I got this jersey two years ago and still good wash. Not a bother. I said the only thing with it <sighs> fluff, f sticky, sticks, everything sticks. Need to get a roller on it. Magnus, Magnus didn't look right in the Celtic top. I wish we could go back to the old days where we had CR Smith on our tops. Those were the days. It would look amazing having CR Smith. CR Smith. See, they, they're a window company, aren't they? Something like that. Unless they're willing to pay us a good, good bit of cash, are they? And get, get rid of um, Daffa Bay and Magnus. But that's a cracker of a jersey. We'll put that away. Now, this one is not an original. I got this in the Celtic shop. Um, I got this in the, from the Celtic shop on the way home from the League Cup semi final against Hibs in 2019. I got this at the shop in Glasgow Airport. So this is the, if I'm correct, is the 1986 to 89. Now we did change the we did change the logo on it for the centenary season. Now this this is a this is a seller. Like the amount of people I have this always looks great in women as well. By the way, <laughs> but this is a belt of a jersey, you know. Clinch leg in this jersey as well, as far as I remember. These cost me 40, 40 pounds at the time. I think it's 35 pounds or 40 pounds. But yeah, this one's pretty cool. Vintage. I like I like the V-neck on it. Some people don't like the V-neck on it. God, I was 10. <laughs> I wasn't even alive. <laughs> I was 1990. <laughs> I came out of go. I came out of Mammy's go a couple of months after the Italian 90. <laughs> CR Smith again. So yeah. You'll see this. You'll always see this in the Celtic shop. It's one of the bit top selling jerseys. Like it's, it's so comfortable. I recommend if you don't have it, boy, out of ten, what would you give the rating of it? It's snug as hell. Now you think it doesn't wash great? Like I've I've overworn at this right now. <laughs> so yeah, give it a rating out of ten there. Give it a good out rating. I feel like I'm signing for Celtic holding the jersey like that. <laughs> it's a ten for me. It's a ten, huh? It's a couple of couple of nines in there. Couple of nines, not not bad, not bad. Couple of nines. I'm gonna try get the Glasgow Celtic wear it on. He's a Instagram page, sells fantastic jerseys and all. He's, he was actually sponsoring the page for a couple of videos. So um, if you are on Instagram, have a look at the Glasgow Celtic wear. Pretty good page. I got the um the Nakamura jersey off him, and came within three or four days. Three days ago, you know. Grown up or grown up, a correct spelling is still important in this uh, demented, moronic world and basic glamour too. So get back to your pram, YouTube. Who said that? I hope that's not, I hope that's not targeted at me. Because if it's targeted at me, to be a Graham Norton chair. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't need someone to come in and correct, correct me on how I speak. At the end of the day. I speak the way I speak. This one, um, 2013, 14 away jersey. As far as I know, I think, was it? Chris Commons got a hat-trick. Sammy got a hat-trick against Kelly in this start of that season. This is a nice one. 
comfortable as well. Wash as well. Nike football done a great one on this. That was for Kieran. Oh, all right, no worries. Um, good quote on it as well. I think it's from from the famous Sir Robert Kelly. This Celtic football club. I see you can actually put it up to the camera for you. Jeez. Can you see that? Should be able to see that. See, this is just a basic webcam. There were the days where the medium could do me well. They were the medium days before the old Guinness got got a hold of me. The Guinness day. <laughs> Magnus, yeah, this was our fourth season. We went to Magnus. And um, we had obviously the pinstripe hoops as well that season. No, was it the pinstripe? Yeah, it was the pinstripe that season. So yeah. Love to see a jersey from the 80s. I just had to put one up there. I'll I'll get one again for you. Um obviously this is a remake, Celtic done. Ricardo. Hope you're well. That one there. That's from the 80s. 86 to 89. They changed the crest on two different occasions. Obviously for the centenary season. But there you go. There's that one from the 80s. Um, let's see what else I have. This one's a player issue. Next one. I got this off a guy from Galway. Football kit box. Look him up on Instagram. This, this is how you know it's a player edition. The European at the back. And then this here there you go so this was the 11 12 tour jersey we clinched the league at rugby park as far as not we beat killy 6-0 that day charlie mcgrew scored two loving scored hooper scored and lelly it could be five nil it could have been five nil correct me but i know we beat them anyway past the five mark so there you go um the difference between this and the replica was the replica jerseys you buy in the shop. This the crest was obviously stitched in. This was obviously printed in. Mm. So yeah, something different. I have to say, comfortable jersey, and I literally could see 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 right through it as well. Look at right through it. Belt over top. What would you rate that out of ten, folks? Rate that out of ten. I think it looks much better without the tenants on it as well. As I said, I got that as a gift. If anyone wants to donate jerseys to me, use them all welcome to. I would never sell them. I always keep them. If I don't, if I have the jersey, I don't want it. If I don't have the jersey, and this is the difference with the air holes and that. There you go, Belder. We wore it a couple of times, to be honest, which is now final jersey of the night. I'll go. I'll do. I'll show you them all again, just in case if anyone's popping in late. Like, get the questions in about the stuff as well. Oh, yeah, Stokes, that one. <laughs> it does. Yeah, Stokes done well. Stokes got a crack of a free kick against. Um, was it? Was it Dunfermline? Was it Dunfermline that was in the league at the time, or was it? Was it Dundee? Crack of a free kick, ten. Now, folks, this is my first ever Celtic jersey. I only started supporting Celtic properly. Around 2004, well, 2003 actually, I started supporting them properly. But this is my first ever jersey signed by Stellian Petchoff as well. Got that signed about three years ago. You, they were playing a charity match in Bride's a medium. So, but it's, obviously, this is the iconic Boa Vista, Celta Vigo, and um, Blackburn Rovers. Who else can we think of? Um, who else did we? Saduva. Anyone else that comes to mind? Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, that's that. I ended up getting this jersey for 20 quid at the time. Now, Loisto Sports. Alan, well, Alan, we didn't wear that, but Stuttgart as well. Sorry. um, We didn't wear that in Anfield. We wore the home one in Anfield. But this one is a belter because we ended up, went, we ended up going Carlin towards the end of Seville. For, for Seville, we wore Carl. Well, we didn't wear Carl, we wore NTL, elbow. we released the Carlin jersey 2003 to 100 years of hoops. But that jersey, I got that jersey for 20 quid at the time. I don't know what Anthony's up to now these days, don't know, don't really know. Yeah, but like, yeah, as I said, that, that jersey is a, an absolute cracker. I'd, I'd rate that probably a 10 out of 10, comfortable, very comfortable as well. The only thing on it is it this. It treaded on the sides. The treading on it was absolutely muck. Reminds me of DDA you got as well for some reason. 
some great players were that Larson, Hart and Sudden, Stillian, Lenny, Bobby Petta, Didier Gert, Johan, Bobo, you know, some 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 cracking players in there, you know. Fernandez. <laughs> so yeah, that was a that was a good one. That was, you know, that was a good one. It's a 10 for you as well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. So I'm gonna go over the jerseys again. We'll start from the the Illumis ones and um I'll get the questions in on the Celtic side of how we're getting on this season and whatever. Right. So as I said, if you're only joining now, there's the new balance 1516 tour jersey. War against Ajax in the Europa League, two all. Be Hamilton in it as well. We only wore it twice in the league. Um, New Balance, four season. I thought it was absolutely poor quality. The Magnus washed off it. A, a lot of people had the same thing as well, you know. I had a few early mind. <laughs> but um, yeah. The home. Big John. Yeah, Big John scored an absolute cracker. Just well went just literally skipped past Didi Haman and Gerard and smashed into that that right corner. Dudek didn't have a clue what was hitting him. <laughs> but that was a good game for the Pilda. 2002, three season. But yeah, there you go. There's that jersey there. Oh, brutal quality. Absolutely brutal. I recommend if anyone's looking to buy one of these jerseys, don't buy it. Like, even the long sleeve of it is absolutely shocking. One of my mates has it. But, um, like, it's just, it's like a kind of mesh material on the slate. See, you can see it there. Mesh material. Shocking. Treading as well. I'd rec, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend buy this jersey, folks, you know. It um, reminds me of Malmo as well. That, that Joe Berg lad. A Berget, whatever his name was. Um, this was a good jersey. This was a really good one. So yeah, I got this. I got that separately printed, by the way, folks. Not from the club website. I had to get that separately printed. Printing company in Blanchetown, because at the time the Celtic shop ran out of letters and numbers in Dublin, so I had to get it separately printed. So, yeah, that was the eighteen nineteen, eighteen yeah eighteen nineteen tour jersey. Well, you can more say the away jersey. Wore that a lot. Scott Brown, Rugby Park, you know. Unbelievable. James Forrest and Bruni scored against Hibbs in the quarterfinals of the cup as well. I used to like the black as well going down it. Unbelievable. Well just rate that out of ten. Give that I'd give that an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Rugby Park, Bruni, yeah, exactly. Bruni, Scotty Sinclair as well. I'm always be playing at Valencia as well. I actually have the shorts off that as well. Got the shorts off it. Glasgow Celtic. The Glasgow Celtic wear sent me shorts. A Bowie Kwasi shorts at the time. A for you. Good stuff. Right. Um, and then the 2009-11 Bumblebee. Some people are a bit if about this, you know. Yeah. Did they bring a cap out? Yeah, you have the cap, don't you? I've seen you wearing the cap before, actually. Yeah, we did beat Rosenberg. We recorded a, an away win that we haven't done in the Europa League and I think it was like six years or something. Well, UEFA Cup in six years, Europa League slash Scotty Sinclair's got a header against them. That's correct. But this one, I was a big fan of this jersey. I still think this is my favourite Celtic jersey of the away, the away collection. I will be doing one on the mint ones. I'll be obviously rooting out the love street one and a half um the people's 1991 jersey um the adidas one and the 2010 11 kind of mint one as well the nike one did you did you see bruni against rangers oh we didn't did are we talking about last week how could i how could i miss it <laughs> looks good when the lights were out in the ground <laughs> <And any grass. laughs> some some clubs would would do great We'd love them to have that against us. But um, yeah. People's people's favourite one. This is like this was voted this was voted the fans' favourite Celtic away jersey of all time. The George Gadetti, the Palo, the Canyon, the Pierre Van Hoydonk, the Simon Donnelly. 
you know, the stubsy. Some crack, some cracking jerseys, eh? But this is the Bumblebee 90, 90, was it 90, 96 to 98? This one, Jackie Mack. Yeah, this is this is a belt of a jersey. As I said, this is not the real deal, folks. I wasn't gonna go and spend a hundred twenty odd quid. I could lie to you, say, oh yeah, it's a real deal. No, I don't lie when stuff comes like that. Brutally honest. I got this jersey off um a page on Instagram called Classic Retros. Look them up, you know. Decent quality, like honestly. It's not one of them toy yokes anyway. It's good quality in it, you know. If it didn't have any umbro tags in it, I'd be like, I don't buy it up and but like even the size of it, look at. There you go. Tommy Bourne's last season in it. Yeah. So yeah. So there you go, folks. There's the little the little jerseys. What year was Nakamura again? Nakamura was two thousand and seven against Kamarnik. Two thousand and seven that was. So yeah. That um that's that that stoppage time free kick, two one victory. Yeah, we had to, even Derek Royden and all on the pitch that day, you know. Ten for that short. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. As I said, I have loads of Celtic away jerseys there. Absolute loads. Um, I think I counted all to get all my jersey collection. I think it was like 86 jerseys I counted. You know, the, yeah, that free kick was unbelievable. And you know what? Earlier that season, he scored a very similar one to that free kick as well at Rugby Park. He scored at Rugby Park a good few times against them. He loves scoring a Tana Dice as well. He's got a hat trick at Tana Dice. Remember, I was back to, I think it was October 2006. Oh, this is my t shirt as well, folks. He's one to have, he's buy one. Come on, the Hoop Celtic. There's there's the merch there. The link, the link is on the way. If you go onto the YouTube channel and go off to About, you'll see the link there for the t shirts. We do them in black, we do them in green, dark green with white crest. Loads. There was over a hundred of them sold last se- last season. So, yeah, comfortable as well. Only got one bad review, and he wanted kids kids tops, and we made kids tops. Then after that, that goal against Man United was fantastic. We were unfortunate that night. I think we lost three two. Jan Venegar and Nakamura scored. He scored. He scored that free kick at Stafford End as well. Nakamura. Apart from the legendary hoops, have you not? Have you got any? black jerseys i've always liked the black plain jerseys i do indeed yeah i've loads um i have to root them out like let me get the box let me get the box while i'm here Causing havoc, is there? There's a call an absolute havoc. Absolute havoc on the channel. This was planned for another time, but we'll do it now, anyways. We'll do it now. So let's move this back here. Absolute havoc. Right, let's see. Let's see. I want I want you to share this as well. So we'll get all we'll get all the away jerseys done and dusted, most of them done and dusted. So there's a share button there on that YouTube. Please share it. Give, give yourself 60 seconds to share it and um put put in the whatsapp group and stuff like that a few v- cr smith jerseys in here as well so right let's see what we have let's see people have been asking for this jersey collection for a while so let's let's get over and done with just let us know when you start the sharing that as well so that once we get to nine thousand between nine thousand that do the way was boy no, no, we'll do it. We'll do this now. Get over and done with. I will be doing another one anyway. I'll do one where I'll actually just recording myself and it won't be live. So here we go. The 1993-95 jersey. Now, Celtic is obviously at the bring this out again in the club store without obviously the umbrella on it. So there you go. There's, there's that jersey. The Maestro. The modeling for that jersey. Unbelievable top. 
I got this off a page on Instagram called The Magic Sponge. So look up The Magic Sponge. He has Facebook. He has Twitter. I have to say, unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable quality. And it came, it came quick as well. So there you go. Oh, that top is unbelievable. Okay, I got this in September. And look at the CR Smith. Still fresh to death. So there you go. I recommend, you know, and there's the the, Umbro, the original Umbro tag as well. Vintage, oh, huh? Vintage. So I'd recommend buy one of them from the Magic Sponge. Tell them that the Keith sent you. This is not this is not an actual away jersey, but I, I wore this earlier on in the videos. But this a lot of people are gonna love this. I know for a fact people are gonna put, put, one or two people are probably gonna ask the boy a lot me, but not selling the boat. <laughs> um 2002 slash three training top very similar to the very similar to that top there where is it same design same design look at same design as that the v-neck so this one is a belt it always reminds me of me LB for some reason look at the design look at the way this fades out into black unbelievable absolutely unbelievable so I want to get the comments out of the way for us and we can give you a proper look at that. So at the back, just air holes. Anyone wear this jersey? Anyone wear this this top in Seville? Drinking sangria? And the umbrella on the back to prove it was an absolute beast. There you go. Got this as a gift again. Lovely gifts, a lovely donation from a friend of mine from Chester. Big Villa fan. Gave me this one. Uh, yeah, there you go. See, based, absolutely based, based. This one, this one's just a, it's not even a real one. It's not even a real jersey, but I'll give you a show you anyway. Just be brutally honest, because there is going to be one or two gobshites that look, oh, that's a fake. That's, do you remember that jersey? Do you remember that? That was it. James Forrest against St. Johnson. That was a nice jersey. Sold out in the Celtic shop in Dublin for nearly six, six to seven weeks at one point. So, yeah. Corcoran on the back of it. It's had its days. It's had its days. That was a drinking jersey at the back. <laughs> but that was it. That was a The real one of that was a belter. Now, this is this is a controversial top. The controversial top. This A lot of people hate this top and a lot of people like this top. I actually like this top. So there we go. Oh shit. The people's jersey. Oh shit. I think this is a nice top. I actually like it. Some some people are just like, oh, it's ranky. Why did we even bring it out? I like the button and all on it. It's definitely my nine. Oh, look at this. The back of it. Absolutely classic. Vintage. No, nope. see, you get you'll get some people are like, no, it's rotten, Keith. It's manky. Why would even show? Why would you even show that thing? Well, look, I'm, I'm a fan of it. I was a fan of it. Yeah, fan of it. Next one. I love this jersey. If it fit, if it fitted me, I'd wear it all the time. This one is a belter. The only thing it gives me a bad memory in this this jersey. Obviously, when Neil Lennon got attacked at Tyne Castle. That jersey. Look, remember this? Absolute belter of a top. The mint based of a top design on his class. The diamonds, look at them diamonds. Long sleeve as well. Chris Common style. That was a nice one. I feel like Marvin Compare here holding up all the jerseys. <laughs> Rent free. So. That top was a beast. Absolute beast. Beast of a top. Right. I'm going to move on. This one, a lot of people like this one. I can't even wear this because it's been overworn. But this is a lovely top. This is one of Nike's last seasons. Do you remember this? Remember this? Yeah. Virgil van Dijk's free kick against Dundee. Oh, God. This thing is absolutely stained, Guinness. 
Award is to Cherry and the Boys. This was a belter, an absolute belter. A club like no other, says not it? Okay, we're having the back of it. John, John Gaudet, good lord. Good lord, it was a free print at the time at the Celtic shop in Dublin. And that was a cracker. I think just basic, it's just basic design. It was nice, nice. And they done the model of that in um in Sligo as well. They for that picture. Virgil van Dyke comments. I think comments Stokes, Kyle, and Bruni. Um New Balance. Not for me, including the Guinness Stain. Sorry, no problem. This one here had its days it's had its days as you see thing is fate it's had its days look before new balance to destroy it um kieran mcdade in the back of it sadly passed away back in 2016 young boy from Cobridge that passed away so we thought it'd be nice the family support the page i thought it'd be nice to show a bit of respect and get him on the back you know i'm a good person dad hey but the magnus like there you go. We we we. I want to see Paddy Roberts all the time. Paddy Roberts scoring against Man City down the Etihad. Yeah, the Black Magic. Oh no, mine a Black Magic. Next one. Oh, Carlin, absolute Carlin, broke me heart. There you go. Two thousand and seven, eight jersey. Look at the Carlin, absolutely destroy it. I can't even get a decent bit of that. There you go. The forty year anniversary. Um, reminds me of reminds me of playing AC Milan the San Siro and we got through on that one yeah there you go that's too small let me know and then you got the Lisbon on the back of it the star of the design so yeah I like the tailor of that that crest the design was pretty cool pretty cool so let's move on Oh God, this is, this is, a lot of people are going to like this one. The Love Street, 1986, yeah. 1986, absolute belter of a top. Mm. There you go, unbelievable. Obviously we bring out last season, we bring out the Adidas one, but this, this was obviously another gift to me. Unbelievable. What happened to the Carlin? But it just it cracked. It it was about I think I had the I think I had it about two years and then it just started cracking away and slowly I used to play football and all the time. So yeah. That was a beast. Yeah, CR Smith and that. Unbelievable chat. Sexual jersey. Unbelievable. Let's move on. Here we go. One of the new balance chats. Oh, I actually like this top. I think the kit is pretty good as well. Smart. You only wore the full. There you go. This was the tour jersey 17 18. Always reminds me of beating Hibs a Hamden. I like the I like the arms on that. You can't really see it because the webcam is absolutely brutal. It's like one of them MSM webcams <laughs> back in the day. So yeah. Nudge, nudge. Big fan of that, folks. Even has the Inter Milan colors and the the Celtic coops in there. I'm a, bit, I'm a bit, I'm a fan of that series. I have to say, some people they did complain about it. They thought that obviously the daffa bet washed off and the crest. People weren't a big fan of the crest on it. The crest would crest should have been sold instead of printed on, washed off. But yeah, big fan of that. Big fan of that one. Um. Oh, what a but a top. I had this in the other, the other night in the podcast in the background. Oof. This one. This one's a base. Oh, was a bit of fluff hanging out of it. What the hell is that? <laughs> a cobweb. There you go. The Lubo. The Lubo free kick. I used to roll it. What a chat. Bought this off Retro Celtic off Instagram. Retro Celtic. Unbelievable black collar and all. And Larson does the modeling for this. You got there's a picture of Neil Lennon and um, Bobby Pettit doing the modeling as well. NTL chat, all the NTL days. Chris Sutton, the long sleeve. They played St. Pat's that season as well at Holger Park, I think. But yeah, there you go. Unbelievable. 
something different. Obviously, with this season, this one's smart. The only thing I'd recommend about this jersey, folks, is it cost me what it cost me 96 quid. The treading, the material in that jersey is at look, you can see a tread already. I had to bring this back to the Celtic shop before I closed down. I ended up buying it and went in three washes was treading. But it's such a nice jersey, you know. <laughs> it really is a big whopping to 26 years since the the famous day. <sighs> 1986. You're making years on me. Well before me, anyway. <laughs> I'm 90. There you go. I wish Cel I think Celtic should go for this on the away jerseys. I wouldn't mind if they went with this on the home jerseys for the season. Just the black, even a even a black clover. You know, I think it'd be controversial, but I think it's nice. I wouldn't mind the 40 clover and on the home top just give it a go they've been obviously trying out in the last couple of home this is one of one of the iconic jerseys that everybody chases the boy in charles like i can boom the thousand and twelve thirteen away jersey good moments beating hibs in the cup final that season Samaras against Benfica beating Spartak Moscow 3 2. There you go. What an absolute chat of a jersey. Sammy all day reminds you. Paddy McCourt's last game in hoops. Last game in a Celtic jersey against Hoops. There you go. Belter of a top. Absolute belter of a top. Sadly, I couldn't get in short sleeve anywhere. Um, let's move on. Oh, this is from the Celtic shop. I got this last year. It doesn't even bleed and fit me, but I'm keeping it anyway. There you go. The 90, the 93 to 95 away jersey. C.R. Smith. C.R. Smith. There we go, folks. Mm. There you go. Give it a share. I'm still happy through the collection jerseys. Um... Here we go, 2009 international jersey. There you go. I like the design on that. The design there, the shorts are cracking as well. Pretty cool. Mm. So you can't, everyone's going to have different opinions about the away jersey. Oh, that's not nice. This is nice. That's not nice. Ah, look, it is what it is. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button there you go the road to seville the only difference between the following season well that's the the second with well, the season of seville is you had ntl home digital but it's the same jersey same concept everything the blood stoppers them cuffs some collection in there it's not even my home collection and do you blame me where you wear celtic stuff all the time <laughs> Um, this was the same color as the Lisbon ticket, so this is why we bring this jersey out. I like this jersey, loads of people are against this jersey, but I really like this top. We wore it, we had to, we had to bring it over time to play Hibs in it one season, and we wore it against Kilmarnock on a Friday night. Stuart Armstrong scored. There you go. I am a big fan of this top. I know people are like minging, oh, like Keith's minging, pink, you know. But the, the, the story behind it is because it's the same color as the Lisbon ticket. So that's the re reason why they used it. So there you go. Gertie Top. Ah, okay. No, I don't mind. This is not even a Celtic collection jersey. This is, the, I thought I put this in this because um, a company from Japan two years ago made this for me at Sente. So, as we know, we all love the Japanese at the moment. So, a company called Paneke made it. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that chair. It's a, it's a set of scrubs. Scrubs. Absolute beast. The back of it. So, unbelievable. Japanese, Japanese fashion company made that. And send that to me. I love it. 
And look at the crest. The crest is the red. Look at the way the crest is on there. <laughs> Stitched in. Ble unbelievable. Panecki uniform supply. It's class. You know, absolutely class. Something different. I should wear that to the pub one day. <laughs> right, let's move on. Let's move on. Did you like that? So no comments there. No comments. Oof. Last time. One of the last times I had Hamden award is me was in the League Cup final. And we got beaten by Killy, 86 minute. Oh, that's why you don't touch Hamden. What a jersey. He only it gives me bad memories of Izzy breaking his leg against Aberdeen. So the difference with the the players, Nike tops and ourselves were they had on the shoulders, they had blue. Oh, not blue. I say blue, Jesus. Green. Green on the shoulders, as I showed you, similar. And then on the sides, you used to have the air holes as well. What do you think of the new Bohemians jersey? The Bob Marley one's lovely. I don't support League of Ireland. I have a good few friends that are Bowes fans and Rovers fans and stuff and Pats. I don't support any team in the League of Ireland because it's the way it is. Someone said a black jersey. We have the 2005 6 tour jersey. Carlin again, under Carlin disaster. Nakamura against Hibs. There you go. Already shown the yellow. All the yellow kits there. Total 90. I was a fan at the Nike up there. Really was a fan. Up the herbs. Feed the bear. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, here's a belter. Here's an absolute belter. There you go. 2012 13. Tour jersey. Reward against Hearts. A home Sammy scored. Reward against Dundee. Hooper scored and Sammy scored. Lovely goals. Reward against Dundee United away at Tanadice. I love the I used to love the color and I have the shorts off. It's just black shorts and then the socks are just and green and black hoops. But that's the only thing about this jersey. It's the material. The material is very hard to maintain and lovely top. Used to love wearing it. Out. Used to love it. Let's move on. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, oh, everybody's favorite. Only got this recently. Why is the Cardinal always off? The Cardinals fall apart in these jerseys. It just, it just depends on the wash. You can earn them off as well. And oh, this one has the Cardinal on it, which is good. 2006 slash eight jersey. The Nakamura. Got this off the Glasgow Celtic wear. It's on Instagram. Give him a follow. Absolute belter. Of a top. Thomas Gravison. Thomas Gravison. I have to say, that is probably one of the coolest jerseys ever. We used to have one of these back in the early, in the um, early 70s, a design like this. That's why Celtic bring, bring it back out again. Uh, this is going to be, I said, this is Frank Brennan's, one of Frank Brennan's favourite jerseys. It's annoying for you, kill. Good writing. Knack against Killy, obviously. Knack against, knack against United. This one here. Loads of people like this jersey. I'm on the fence with this one. I like the design on the back of it, like the Umbro. The Pierre Van Hoydonk. Yeah. There you go. That one there. Nope. I'm not a fan of it myself. I just don't know. People are mad about it. I just oh, I don't know. I just think it's... I just don't like the design on it. Not a fan. Not a fan. You know? I'd have to... Yeah. Let's see. Oh, here's a goalkeeper one. I love this. I used to wear this all the time. I was playing in goal when I was a teenager. Ah, oh, God. What a top. Last year of Umbro before we went over to Nike. The David Marshall against Barcelona. I used to love the star on the on the on the sleeve. Is on this one? It's on the other sleeve, is it? There, it's on the other sleeve. If anyone has the green one of that of that season and looking to donate, give us give us a mail, give us a comment on the page. I used to love this jersey. Stretchy. 
mixed thoughts about. I used to love that goalkeeper jersey. Oof. The Black Magic. The Black Magic. Gives a couple of black love hearts. Black and green always looked good to me, but why have these colours as a second jersey? I don't know, to be honest, Frank. I really don't know. It just, it's just the people that run the club at the time. Went, this one's the best. Long sleeves. Black magic. Black magic. He's were asking for the, the jerseys, so I don't know. I thought I'd do this video. The black magic. Patch off against Kilmarnock to seal the title. Remember, Bellamy used to cut the cut the cut the collar off, and took or even took it in. So yeah, Bobo Balde against Hibbs. <laughs> Top three Celtic jerseys of love all the time. Let's move on. Something back to Frank's days. And the two the nineteen eighty one slash eighty three away jersey, Tommy Bournes. The Maestro. I think it was the Maestro wore that. I think the Maestro did wear that. I think he only came on the scene then. Yeah. There you go. Absolute chat of a top. Look at Crest then. Based. I hate wearing it because I don't want to stay in it. But yeah, there you go. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Craig Bellamy. <laughs> Right, we're, we're down to our last three or four jerseys. The few of them are in the wash. First ever Celtic away jersey I bought in Celtic Park when I went off my first ever game in 2007. Oh, God, I even realised that was washed out the back. This one here, another Carl and Fade. There we go. It's the AC Milan, last 16, Champions League. There we go. I remember Aidan McGeady fought against, had a fight against Neil Lennon at Dunfermline at one point to see the 1888s at the washing off. So, yeah, there we go. Good times. Good times. Even had that as a, a wallpaper on me, on me old Sony Ericsson phone. The Fraser Foster. Fraser Foster. The Fraser Foster. Nice top. This was a controversial top when I came in. They're like, oh, it's blue. It's blue. It's aqua blue. We can't be blue. But yeah, I like the Corcoran on the back of it. 90. Yeah, Scott Payne. <laughs> Fraser Foster. <laughs> and then the last jersey of the night. The grey and pink one is in me, in me, in me wardrobe. I'm not rooting that out. You know what the grey and pink one is. But this is the last one for the night. For some lucky thought in the alphabet it's not as bad it's on some jersey it looks decent you know so, like the Nicham one definitely one it doesn't look good in that there we go like i think the alphabet uh, not on this one would look better always smells good this top always smells good so certain tops that you wash and wash and the smell just stays on them and you give the best wash in the world and just can't get it off but this one always smells good it's that David Beckham. David Beckham. I have to show you where. <laughs> One of the best. One of the best. Oh, yeah. I loved it. I have the black one downstairs on the wash. So, yeah. There you go, folks. That is the jersey collection. That is all the jerseys. I'm not counting them. I'm just throwing them all in. <laughs> no. Not a chance. <laughs> Not a chance counting them all. Ah, okay. It's no harm, but I hope he's enjoyed that. Something different. Nearly an hour, nearly an hour of talking on big Celtic jerseys and showing you his jerseys from the past. You know, some good times, you know. Kill you away, start the season. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Fucking Barkas. <laughs> debut. Ryan Christie's got a nice free kick that day. You're certainly welcome. As I said, would you just do me a favor there? On the video, there is a share button. Could you just share it to five people if you have WhatsApp? You can even share it to Snapchat just to get people aboard. I want to I want to climb the Samaras Mountain. And we're 100 away from Mount Samaras. So if you can do it, it would be really appreciated. And then once we get to this 9,000, I will start, getting, start giving away jerseys. Not these jerseys. I'll be giving away 
be getting, I'll be buying jerseys and down and be giving away to four lucky subscribers. You know, it'd be obviously one would be a small, one would be a medium, one would be a large, and one would be an extra large. We're going to try to get the CR Smith ones to just make it a bit kill, cool, you know. I so said they're going to be, they're going to be remakes, you know. Some of them will be remakes, they're not going to be the legit thing, but look at a free gift is a good gift. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Share button there. Just just Snapchat it or send it to WhatsApp or put it on. But yeah, loads of jerseys here. Absolute loads. Unbelievable. Keith, you got me size. Watch your size. If it's if it's past extra extra large, I'm sorry, folks. I do apologize, but I can't keep everyone. You know, if if not. And nothing against people that are bigger figure than other people, you know. It's just can't can't splash it for everyone. <laughs> oh god, bills to pay. <laughs> your Japanese is better than your English. <laughs> Can you show up? <laughs> I think he said it's the other night. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I'll take any of them. My size, to be fair. Brilliant. There you go. Remember that one again. Absolute cracker, absolute cracker. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get on tomorrow night. I can't guarantee I'll be on tomorrow night because I'll be in a different location. I won't be in my own place, so you won't see the old pull up ball in the background and one of the jerseys. Do you remember that jersey? Good times in that jersey. That was the old Jan Venegar of Hesselink and the Nakamura. The 2007 slash eight home 40 year. Lisbon Lions jersey preview. Um, probably just do a video to be honest. I don't think I'll be able to get a pod podcast on tomorrow night. We shall see. Oh, okay, can't even. All these away jerseys won't even fit into this this IKEA box. Gonna have to get, gonna have to get something different now. Lisa, what are you what are you selling them for a job? A lot. No, I'm not going to sell them. I'm not going to sell all these jerseys. These jerseys are going to be put in one of them. Storage wars. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> me two girls, if me two little kids will be um, like, no, I don't want them jerseys. Get them away. Put them in one of them storage wars. <laughs> Some lucky gem will get them. <laughs> boy, this, boy, boy, the storage. <laughs> Open them shorts. They allow the Celtic clubber. Like, oh, good luck. Oh, good times. Good times. There we go, the bumblebee. As I said, I've tailed it that twice. Loads. Absolutely loads. Feed the bear. I'm sure there's an extra large. That's it. They're, they would. I'm going to give an extra large away as well. Like, as I said, I'm going to try to get the CR Smiths. I'm going to try to get a, four different CR Smith jerseys. You know? And then to be the typical, be like, be one of these, um, it'd be probably this and like, Probably this and an extra large and something like, oh, why is you not doing it in the medium? I'm like, I'm sorry, mate. Can't keep everyone happy. You have a chance. You have a chance. But yeah. So I'll get the webcam down and then I'll show you the, the old collection. All put away, trying to be put away. But we will be doing, I will be doing a home collection in a few weeks' time. It's not going to be as fun as the away jerseys, but okay. Some cracking home tops as well. Pubs are in drinking in, not fighting. That's the homesman. Yeah. There we go. Oof. There we go. There's all the tops. All the tops I put in there. I'll put in there. So before I go, um let's talk about let's talk about Wednesday. Hearts. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this game on Wednesday night. How he's all feeling about Wednesday night. Are we all optimistic? Are we all confident that we're going to get a result in Tynecastle? It's a tough place to go. We went there to start of the season and we, we actually pretty we played well against them, but just the referees were against us as usual. And um, should have been a sending off, but John Suit was scored at the end. But yeah. And Lisa shows. But yeah, I'm confident. I'm confident about Wednesday. So I'll be starting lineup. I'm gonna go for um Joe Hart and goal, right back, Jovanovic, left back. I'm gonna say Scales because Scales got the assist and played well. And I was I know he's only against Alawa. Um 
he's probably he's probably gonna he's probably gonna go for Greg Taylor to be honest, which is because he he loves Greg Taylor. You know, you must have a used washing machine for all that. Lot. <laughs> send it down to my mom's house. <laughs> she'll she'll do it all. <laughs> or to send it to the dry cleaners. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get one of them adjustable wash machines. <laughs> but um, centre backs will have to be Starfelt and Carter Vickers. Midfield, I'm gonna go Beaton, Hatate, and I'm gonna go with Matt O'Reilly. You know, right wing, I'm gonna go Lee Alabada, left wing. Jota and then up front. I know a bad obviously came off injured the other day. Up front, Jack Amakis. It's gonna be a tough one. I know people are saying easy peasy, but it's pff. hearts are a good sight. Good side. We've had we have some memorable moments at hearts. Remember that time when Edward scored the last minute, Lenny's first game. He returned. <sighs> it's always di- it is difficult. It's always a difficult place to go. It's always a difficult place. I was watching a throwback video of um when Hart started it was across the line. I think it was the 14, 15 season. And then we went no, it wasn't it wasn't the 14, 15 season. It was the um 11, 12 season. And then we went up there half and sixty seconds later, Bruni scored. <laughs> there was motor, athlete motor. <laughs> but Toyn Castle is always a tough place to go. But we've had some great results over the years there. I always remember the um the Scott Sinclair hat trick and then Paddy Roberts scoring as well. We clinched the league there in um 50. Oh, was it the 16, 16, 17 season? The invincible season. Good times. Absolutely good times. So yeah. Again, think I think again, Keith, I think we will blow them away. Edward. Edward. It's the Odson Edward. It's the way I say it. Edward. <laughs> Jedward. Odson Jedward. <laughs> uh, Edward. So, yeah, that's it, folks. Um, just want to say thanks very much for watching the podcast. I know it's something different. So, the Jersey Celtic Jersey Collection. I'm going to have to change the name but on the YouTube video. But, um, yeah. And I appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that red button. Whoever has, thank you very much. These are all legends, and I'll speak to you all soon. Hell, hell.